Hello and welcome back to Total War Rome 2, Heir of Carthage here. This is going to be the Battle of Mons Regius, so nice. We are not on the Medicina, and this is a team battle, by the way, sent in by Hotel Soap, so appreciate them. Uh, this is going to be um, a Syracuse and Athens combination, so a Greek city-state combination, and they are going up against Parthia and Mesazeli. Looks like on the other side, yep, we got tribal slingers and the knockoff Roman cohorts that might actually be more value effective than <laughs> the legionary cohorts of Rome, which is pretty impressive that you can, you know, be the great value brand and, and be a better value. <laughs> I know that. What? In any case, here we go. Um, so we've got the four tribal slingers up front, armored Numidian riders and desert legionary cav. Wow, just really knocking off the Romans here. Um... So, well done to the, uh, the Mesazeli. Although, I don't know if I would want to be copying Roman cavalry for the most part. It's not usually worth it. There's Parthian horse archers in the back. There is an elephant present on the battlefield. That's an Indian war elephant. Not an armored variety, but still a powerful unit. There are some royal cataphracts, two of those. And then Parthia's got a few, um, looks like Parthian sword. No, hillmen. So, very cheap infantry because they have to make up for the cost of those royal cataphracts and elephants. Uh, but a line of Parthian foot archers up front. These guys dish out massive damage. Very dangerous units, but they are going to be going into the face of uh, some skirmishers on the other side as well. Let's go check them out. I see a couple of Tarantine Cav backed up by a citizen cavalry. And then we've got some Thurio spears. And on this front line here, I see four units of Peltist. Might see an aggression push here by the Greek states to use those Peltists to cover the advance of the infantry. Mercenary Sam Knights, more Thurio Spears. Let's look at this main line here. Uh, Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, those are very tough, armor-piercing, capable Hoplites. Uh, thorax Swords, we're going to see a Hippias Lancer General for Syracuse. More Mercenary Sam Knights. Uh, there are some archers behind the main Peltus line. Uh, there are Mercenary Rhodian Slingers on this flank with Peltus covering them the same. More Thorax Swords, regular Hoplites, Militia Hoplites, Thracian Warrior Mercenaries. And then back here, Citizen Cavalry and Hippias Lancer mix. So an interesting line there for the Greek cities. I mean, they probably do have the infantry advantage. Desert Legionaries are better probably in price than most of the Greek infantry, but the numbers here definitely in favor of the Greeks. If the Greeks can deal with these elephants and royal cataphracts, I feel like they can carry this one home. But that may be easier said than done. There is definitely some significant skirmishing power. But look at this nice double up here. Peltus getting shots into the foot archers. Those Parthian foot archers need to fall back and not let themselves be hit by those Peltus. Uh, it's not a good trade. And uh, if the Greeks are able to get rid of a lot of those Parthian foot archers, the elephants will be in grave danger. And that takes away a huge spend potential here. Now the horse archers making their way to the flank. They've taken some damage here too. They really ought to target the citizen cavalry and the Tarantine cavalry. Start picking at the enemy cavalry and just stay away from the Thurio Spears here. A couple of noble blood cavalry moving out to this flank, which are going to be quite tough. So let's see what happens here on the flank as the cavalry moves out. Those Thurio Spears well within range, though, so a big mistake here by Parthia. You definitely don't want to cop a face full of javelins um, in this game. Like, the javelins have a bonus versus large. It is very brutal. So these noble blood cavalry are, are mispositioned, and it's going to cost them. It's a lot of hit points going to go down the drain there. The royal cataphracts look like they want a piece of this army over here. They've moved up, but then they stop within range of the slingers. And again, when you start losing individual entities like this, it means you've taken significant hit point damage. And that is armor-piercing fire coming in off those Rhodian slingers, so a huge micro mistake here by Parthia as well. So Parthia is, is not managing their fight well across the front. They're spread too wide and it's taking their attention to the wrong places. Those royal cataphracts need to just kind of fall back and, and hope for the best at this point. The Parthian foot archers are going to start sending fire back the other direction, which they need to. And let's just see what happens here. But uh, like I said, not, not great for Parthia right off the bat. It has not been a, a good value trade thus far. There's a lot for Parthia to micromanage. It's becoming difficult. I almost feel like that uh, it's okay to combine your arms, but when you have a cavalry force, it needs, it needs not be split. See, look at this. The elephants started taking some javelin fire here as well. If you split your attention between two flanks, you have to make sure you keep a camera angle where you can take care of it. Like, you'd have to be up high and far back so you can see what's going on, and then just be bouncing back and forth between your units to be effective. 
Ooh, that noble blood cavalry is getting surrounded. They got a little too far out there. There is some desert legionary cav that can help. The noble blood cavalry, far superior in melee, but there's spear support nearby. Those horse archers need to swing around and make a mess of this to help out the noble blood cav. So, again, very nice engagements for the Greeks so far. I feel like they've done a really good job of pushing their advantages where they can and making the most of it. And we'll see how that plays out. A lot of javelins now coming into the tribal slingers as the Greeks push an infantry fight. The desert legionary cav is being forced to come out and help engage, but there's a Thurio spear right in the mix of this, so it is, it's not going to go great. This is not going to be stellar. If these horse archers, though, can hold off the Tarantine Cav, it'd be good. I do like what the Tarantine Cavalry is doing, though, which is pushing the issue with the horse archers. They would win a melee against them, and so the horse archers are forced to flee. Here comes a Lancer Charge to support this fight, though. That's going to hurt bad. All right, these cavalry will need to recommit now, and then maybe maybe use one of them to cycle charge the, the Thurio Spears. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, no one's entered the the melee yet the parthian foot archers did end up behind the line safe for now i don't know where those royal cataphracts are at they're over here they got beat up pretty badly they're gonna need to save themselves for the late game here those elephants need to stay at a safe respectful distance as well And it looks like we have an initial engagement here between a desert cohort and some Samnite warriors. And then here comes a desert cohort to engage a mercenary veteran hoplite. A mercenary veteran hoplite will be a tough target. Peltis looks like you're going to get charged by the armored Numidian riders. There's mercenary veteran hoplites pushing here again. So the infantry reinforcements are going to be needed over here. It looks like um, the Greeks are overloading the left flank of the Parthian Mesazali alliance here. And as far as the skirmish goes, the archers combined with the Rhodian slingers are definitely taking a toll, and they are targeting infantry at this point, trying to weaken the infantry line. And look at this, a cheeky shot here actually runs the elephants amok um, behind their own lines, which means that if they hit their own units, they'll cause damage to them. So the elephants right now are at negative value <laughs> as they are just careening into these uh, Persian hoplites. There they've come back under control. And it looks like the Royal Cataphracts are trying to help shore up this flank here, along with some Persian Hoplites. Uh, there is a significant amount of cavalry left for the Mesazali and the Parthians. But the infantry fight, I think, has started out pretty good over here. Those Thracian Warriors added a charge to those veteran Hoplites' wall. Uh, good performance from the Desert Cohort here against the Samnites, for sure. But I can definitely see a problem here as the Parthians and the uh, Mesazali are having a their flank get worn out while their front's being weakened by the skirmishers. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, their Parthian foot archers are going to need to to do something useful here, and right now they're not being particularly useful. It doesn't appear, at least. We will see. I wonder, these elephants could potentially get over here and help with some of this fight, as long as these units are tied down, especially the Thurio Spears. See what those super heavy cataphracts are up to. They haven't really gotten many kills. They're starting to get on the board here, though. Yeah, the elephants can certainly get some kills over here. This mercenary veteran hoplite would drop like flies to the elephant, and it really doesn't have good javelin support at the moment. So that elephant could be making money over there. Instead, it's going to head towards the front line, which I think is a grave mistake because there's a lot of archers and Rhodian slingers. That elephant's about to get absolutely blasted. Yep, it's getting targeted by all these units. So that elephant's about... Yeah, boom. I can't believe it didn't just go amok right there. But it's, it will have taken some serious hit point damage in the process. So let's see whether that Mesazali and Parthia can hold their flank. The frontline engagement begins, and because of that withering Rhodian slinger fire, withering being the key here, the uh, Mesazali line is absolutely falling apart under the heavy Greek assault here. And I don't believe it's going to hold. Hillmen are certainly not going to hold. And all we've got back here is some Persian hoplites as well. So those uh, expensive, or sorry, it's not, they're not terribly expensive, but the Parthian foot archers... Uh, dangerous units, they just did not seem to get the impact they needed earlier in that fight. The cataphracts are getting worn down over here, and then there's even more cavalry now moving in for the Greeks, so despite not having great cavalry, the Greeks have really punched above their weight over here and are doing an excellent job. So eventually this flank is going to collapse. There's only so much longer it can be held. 
and then up front the Masezli line is collapsing and again only cheap Persian hoplites to come and fill the gaps at this point that's not going to do the the trick there's still ammunition, I believe, on the Rhodian Slingers. They do not have their daggers out, so I'm not sure what they're targeted at, but they will be able to. The elephants had to be put down, it looks like, or they got killed by Slinger fire. Riders, advance! A little bit of support here for the uh, Cataphract General, but it's too late. Uh, the Greeks are just going to get out of there and, you know, keep their cavalry alive for later in this fight. But a very nice combined arms tactic going on here between Athens and uh, Syracuse. They've deployed their armies together, and they're they're really doing well at using their strengths. The Peltist, along with the uh, Rhodian Slingers, were a nice combination. Peltist are actually kind of nice counter skirmishers. They have good shields. They can approach an enemy line, and they can chuck javelins into it to get value pretty quickly. And if the uh, enemy is not good at moving their parts around to keep from giving those Peltists the value they need, it can be a real problem. So they, they do end up acting as kind of nice counter skirmishers. And then that combined arms and combined attack here from the Greeks has, has proved very effective. Very effective indeed. The Desert Cohorts were dangerous enemies here. And uh, they are being dealt with. They're being dealt with pretty handily. So, yeah, they, look at these uh, mercenary Thracian warriors coming in from the flank here too. Going to be nice charge into the rear of those Desert Cohort that's going to send them running. This is going to be a clean victory for the uh, Greek city-states. A GG to both teams here, and uh, whenever I'm pointing out mistakes, of course know that I would likely be making them as well, so don't don't take it personally. I'm just commenting. Commenting's easier than actually playing, but thank you to uh, Dagmar and uh, EDU here. Um, so appreciate them playing as the Parthia Masaisley team. It's a cool idea. These are interesting factions to combine. The Masaisley have a pretty decent front line um, with decent skirmish options. Parthia is obviously good at sk uh, skirmish. Their front line, not so good. The money that went into the Elephants and the Cataphracts, I get it, but it is tricky to use, especially going against Greek factions. Remember, the Greek factions hold a ton of Thurio Spears, and they hold a ton of Peltist. They have good Slingers. They have a lot of cheap Archers. It is difficult to pull Elephants against a Greek faction unless you totally control the battlefield from a cavalry standpoint, and Parthia is capable of that, but they did not in this case. Um, they were not able to get out and dominate the, the cavalry, uh, and then that kind of put their archers in a bit of a tougher position there. Uh, Masezli, again, decent infantry. They just they, they weren't in the engagements that they needed to really prove their value, but you can see here these desert cohorts that did get decent engagements for them. They did well. Um, they, are, they are certainly capable units. And then if we take a look over here at Hotel Soap's army, nice work with those slingers. They were absolutely deadly. I love the mercenary veterans working up the flank. That is a tough unit. It can support a cavalry fight if it needs to. It's totally capable against many infantry um, because of that 30 uh, attack spear with the 8 AP. And then a nice combined uh, arms there with the Thracian warriors going in with them too. So I, I thought that was a really nice attack up the flank. And then good work uh, to combine with Syracuse. Uh, their Samnite warriors did extremely well. The Thurio spears were dangerous units and did a nice support. These cheap archers even, like being a nice support to those Peltists. I like the pick of Peltist here. Um, there are times when Peltists can be a real nuisance and be used properly, which is cool because that's kind of their role, right? They were skirmishers to get out there ahead, get the fight going. Anyway, Air of Carthage signing out for now. Hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you soon with some more action in Total War Rome 2.